finally home from the city I had a little self-care day um, out if you guys don't know Mondays are like my little like self-given days off where I just spend the day out get some fresh air um, socialize with people in real life because when you're like this field is very I, I feel like being an influencer like people don't talk about this enough it's very isolating. Like a lot of the things that we do, we do on our own by ourselves and we're by ourselves a lot. So I feel like it's very important for me to have a day, not going on dates or anything, just a day for me where I literally go out the house, spend the day and just interact with people because it's very important to just maintain that aspect. I'm not a social person, so I could stay in my house for days and not really care, but it's always nice to just do that. Cause, because we talk to the camera so often, like when we talk to a real person, we're like, uh, awkward. So I don't like that. So I try to always maintain like balance of camera talk and real talk, you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, just left the city. Um, I did do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, a little shopping. I actually was gonna do way, way more shopping cause there's so many things that I really wanted. I have three events this week. Let me fake my hair. I have three events this week and I don't really have anything to wear to either of them. So I'm a little bit like, I'm fretting a little bit. Okay. Um, I did take, take my new bag out today. This is the Pullen number 10 bag, I believe. Yeah, so I'm happy about that. And I did purchase a dress, which I'm so excited about. I'm like slowly like transforming my wardrobe to like more classy pieces. I'm happy about this dress. It's like very, very chic and just like, a, it's just a really nice evening dress. I'm gonna wear this for like a really nice and dressy like date night. 
So this is what it looks like. I'll put the picture of what it looks like on the mannequin, but this is the dress. Um, she was a little bit like pricey, but it's funny because I feel like uh, a dress of this, but I'm obsessed with it. Obviously, it's in this like chocolate, a very dark, dark chocolate brown. It's obviously like a silk fabric, so it's like, it's just, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Um, it's beautiful. I tried on the size 6. The size 6 is also pretty, but just not giving, so I got a size 4. It's so cute, you guys. I can't wait to go on like a very nice, like a luxurious date night and just... The highest heels that I can wear. I'm gonna wear them. Oh, it's cute. I love it. Anyways, I got some packages from Amazon. I just collected them from downstairs. So let me open it. I actually don't even know what I. Oh, this is actually from Skims. I got a crew neck long sleeve bodysuit. So I just got the black crew neck. Um, love these for the winter. I actually didn't know it was gonna be this one, like the. And I just got some underwear. I love Skims undergarments. I own so many of their bras. I threw out all my other bras and bought Skim bras because they are truly amazing. From Amazon, I got a blow dryer because I'm gonna try to blow dry my natural hair, but I can't blow dry it using a traditional blow dryer. I need the one that has the brush attached. And I also got the blow dryer because I hear it's also good for doing like a blowout look, which I love to do. So I just got the Hot Tools 24K Gold Collection. I don't know, I just got this one. And it's just a blow dryer with the brush attached. It's a lot bigger than I thought. So I got this one. Should we test it out, you guys? I feel like I want to. Let's test it out. And there's an outlet right here. I'm gonna link it for you immediately. And you need to get this because I love a blowout look. Let's see. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So I'm sitting down to get ready for the day. Today's gonna be a TikTok filming day. How to do my makeup. My brushes are filthy though. So I'm literally so scared to like use these dirty brushes on my face because I know it's going to literally wreak havoc with breakouts. But um, you know, when you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And in my case, prepare to have acne. So, um, yeah, my brushes are dirty and I've been having breakouts constantly, so I feel like I need to wash them today. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to film. Back to the grind, um, it's a work day for me. I have an ad to film today and I need to film a TikTok. There's a sound going around that I really, really love. It's a sound from the TV show called House of Dragons. I'm such a Game of Thrones fan, so House of Dragons, you know I'm all about that. I love it. I love the show so much and it's getting interesting. I'm so excited for this new series, but um, basically the sound is of two of the characters in an interview and she was just like, what's the drink of choice? A Negroni. But yeah, just do my makeup for the day so I can like shoot and look presentable. And TikTok still like scares me a little bit, so I do make sure that when I go there, I'm on my A game. Because TikTok is a little bit more brutal. I don't even know why I care, because I don't care on any other platform. Any other plat platform, take it or leave it. But TikTok, I'm like, can you please take it? <laughs> so yeah, I'm just doing my makeup right now. Um, again, my brushes are dirty. Dutty. I do have a few clean ones in the batch. Well, this is clean. It just looks stained um, I do have some clean brushes in my bag So I think I'm gonna just try to just make those brushes work because the thought the thought, the mere thought of those brushes touching my face I, I'm like gagging. I haven't really been in the vlogging mood much lately. I just haven't been liking my camera quality I haven't been liking anything but I have this little banana bread from Joe and the Juice. I'm actually just eating that for breakfast also. I'm multitasking because I don't have a lot of time to like sit down. I have to upload a video today. I have to film and I have to shoot TikTok. So lots to do. So we're multitasking. Mm. 
and I love their banana bread. Not that I need it, I feel like I've gained so much weight. Whenever the temperature gets cooler, I feel like I just eat a bunch of like heavier meals. I feel like I, I feel heavier, but the scale hasn't gone up, but I don't really go by the scale. I more so just go by how I feel. Once I feel heavier, I just know it's time for me to like cut back and get back into my routine. I hate feeling all sluggish like this, you know? Anyways, I have some orange character on. I've been using this a lot lately under my makeup and it's just been making the biggest difference ever. I can't believe I wasn't into color correcting before. Now, I need to do this before my makeup at all times. I'm still a NARS girl, but I do have a couple foundations on my Sephora list for the upcoming savings event that I want to try out. I've just been going to a ton of events lately, as you guys might have seen, and I'm just like seeing different um, foundations into play um, on various women of color, and I'm just like, wow, like I need to try this foundation. It's magnificent. So I'm gonna be doing a, a video though, sharing with you guys some products that I have on my list that I feel like you guys should be picking up or adding to your list if you're one of those people that participate in the Sephora event which you should be because the savings are huge and we shop at Sephora anyways so why not shop during the savings event save some money yeah but I have a long list of things that I am eyeing that I feel like wow whenever I have a side part I do my makeup a little bit differently like I do way more highlighting because more of my face is showing I definitely do and I've been putting on my blush and my contour also at the same time. For blush, I'm using Rare Beauty. I actually use two of my Rare Beauty blushes. This was in the shade Love and this is in, in the shade Lucky. So it's two blushes. Um, because it's fall, I don't want to put on too much of the hot pink one. So I do mix them together to make like, like a hybrid. Then I'm going to go in with my NARS contour. It's fall, you know, the weather is cooler outside, so I'm like really ODing with the cream products a lot lately. So cream um, contour. <laughs> I put on way too much on that side. Way too much. Put some right by the temples here because the forehead be forehead in with, with a side part. Literally, foreheading. Okay. What's well, funny, I've never done this to my makeup before. Like, I've never once, like, done my makeup like this before. So this is an experiment. Something that I saw on TikTok also, like, she literally just puts all her product on like this. I'm going to use a setting spray from Sephora. I'm going to spray it. If this turns out to be a mess, just laugh at me because I'm always trying to do act brand new. Like I don't ever do my makeup like this, ever. But we're just gonna blend. And um, because we're filming a lot today, I don't mind my makeup looking a lot more cakey. I don't mind it at all, but so far I'm loving how the blush is blended into the concealer. I think it's so natural. And after you're done blending the concealer, just go to the forehead section and just blend this out really quickly. Whether this is blended out neatly or not, it doesn't really matter. Wow, that's actually so pretty. I will be doing this for the rest of the winter time on days where I'm doing like a heavier makeup look because I really do like this. Okay, that's actually really pretty. Um, if you guys hate it, that's just too bad because this is actually a great, a great idea. Love this, this is so nice. Okay, I'm just gonna take the bottom of the sponge now and the bottom of the sponge is completely clean. So what you're gonna do is you're just, just gonna use it to blend in like all these harsh lines. And because the bottom of the brush, the brush is clean, the sponge, 
you can literally just do this without making any like large messes. Okay, let me just blend out the, the forehead a little bit because because I know someone's gonna be like, you look cute, girl, but it's not blended. Listen, one thing about me, you know, one thing about me, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me say this don't look good. Um, I'm going to now take my blush brush and I'm gonna blend out my cheek contour a little bit just to do that. Then I'm gonna go in with my Dior. Now this is a light pink blush and I know you guys are thinking like, girl, we cannot wear that shade blush. We can because it literally looks like nothing on our skin, but it's there. If you were to see me in person, just like the most subtle, beautiful blush color ever. So pretty. And blush is the first thing to leave your face when you wear makeup throughout the day. To do the thinnest line ever. This one is on its last leg. This is my makeup for the day. For my lips, I feel like I'm gonna be using my Luzerne Lip Enhancing Treatment. And I know you guys are thinking like, um, why didn't we hear about this lip product before? Um, I only just like opened my PR package from Luzerne and, is it Luzerne? Luzerne, Luzerne. I only just opened my PR from Luzerne and there's a bunch of like skincare products and lip products. And when I tell you this is a lip enhancement product for real, like, do you see the transformation? I will link this down below for you guys because girls, if you like a little lip moment, this is for you. I'm just gonna set my face with my So for my outfit for the day, I'm going to be wearing this Wolford bodysuit. I get asked about these Wolford bodysuits so often, like what bodysuit is this? So they have like the cuffs and everything in them. To be honest, if I could remove the cuffs, I would be very happy. I just don't really know how without ruining the product. And they are a little bit expensive, so I don't want to like ruin them, but I don't need this extra padding. I do have, I'm pretty busty, so. Yeah, but it's fine. It really gives, it gives you like a really nice structure and it's okay, whatever. And then I'm gonna be wearing these really like oversized blue denim from Zara. They are super long and all of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna be wearing these today. And um, yeah, that's gonna be the outfit for shooting. Um, I think that should be fine. And then after I'm gonna like shake us a grocery haul because my order actually came when I was filming from Whole Foods and it's sitting on, on the floor. I did, however, remove all the like the frozen stuff though, so it wouldn't melt. But yeah, a little grocery haul. First up, I got some honey crisp apples. These are my favorite apples to have. And I like to add like cinnamon and nutmeg and brown sugar on top for the perfect fall snack. I also got two green pears. And look at this, I ordered three single navel oranges and look what my shopper got. He got one, two, three bags of oranges. But I'm gonna just make like some freshly squeezed orange juice and I guess I'll have that for the week. I also got two bunches of kale. So each week I always choose what vegetable I wanna have and I chose kale this week so I'm gonna have this as aside with my eggs in the morning. Plus, I'm gonna make like a salad or two and maybe saute this, so have some options. So I just got two. I also got a rotisserie chicken. I don't know what possessed me to get a rotisserie chicken, but I figured I'd just have this to snack on throughout the week. I can add it to salad, I can make chicken soup. And speaking of chicken soup, I did get two things of, two things of chicken broth. I also got some carrots. And I got the egg noodles required for chicken soup. So I might have chicken soup one day this week. I also got some cheese tortellini for when I'm craving pasta. And I also got some sweet potato fries. Next thing is super random. I got the beer battered cod filet. I've been craving fish and chips a lot lately. So I decided to pick this up to try it. I really hope it's Next good. Next up I got this pancake slash waffle mix. I love to have pancakes with caramelized apples, so I really wanted to get this. I also picked up this Khalifa Farms pumpkin spice creamer. I figured I would just get this and try to recreate the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte at home. And because honestly, I've been spending way too much money on those. And on to some fun stuff. 
I already opened this because I was just, I just couldn't wait to try it. So I got this jackfruit, it's like frozen. And if you guys don't know, I'm Jamaican. Okay, it's not bad, but it's frozen and I hate eating cold food. It's there and it's really sweet, so I feel like it's all right. Doesn't replace the real thing though. Tonight we're making um, like a traditional style chicken soup. I call it the American chicken soup. It just has like carrot, celery, and I'm gonna add kale because I do need to consume a lot of vegetable this week. I've been lacking and with my vegetable intake, so we need to amp that up. So every single day I need to eat like a, like a bunch of greens. I don't care what greens it is, but we need to eat a lot of veggies every single day. So I bought two bunches of kale. This is like half of one one bunch that have like three servings left and for chicken soup you know we need chicken i'm gonna use a rotisserie chicken today because it's already cooked and it's already seasoned it's obviously really easy to just cook chicken in the soup but i decided to just use this one So what I'm doing now is just fishing the chicken out of the pot. Um, as best as I can. You guys can see there's not much water left in the pot, so that's where the chicken broth comes in. So I'm just going to be pouring this inside. I'm gonna taste it first though. Okay, so it does have a little salt to it, but it's not too salty. It has pepper flakes. It's basically like a, like, you know, like an all-purpose type of thing. I'm now gonna add my carrots because I want this to start cooking immediately. And actually, I could just add in my kale to you guys because the chicken is already cooked, so I'm not really concerned about my chicken cooking. So I'm just adding everything in here. Sorry I'm using my hands, but I can't. So yeah, just, just gonna add in my chicken.
good morning today is thursday i'm literally glued at my desk here working it's 10 36 right now i've been up since probably seven and i've been at this computer desk the entire day just doing work because i just have so much work to, to complete also literally don't even have time to go to the stove and make turkey bacon or cut an orange i mean i have time but i don't um and i'd much rather not so i just ordered some starbucks to be honest to eat yeah but right now i'm literally just glued to my com computer doing work and all of that again order starbucks i'm gonna show you guys what i got actually i want to open this on live too so let me just start my live um live is a good way by the way if you guys are just starting your youtube channel um not, i'm sorry if you guys are just starting out on social media live is a good way to interact with your audience and it's always good to interact with your audience and um you know just to kind of you know interact with them in real time because social media is just it's so fast and everything's moving so quickly you don't really get a chance to really connect so i love live for that uh, there's already so many people in here i'm trying to type hey guys how are you i'm just gonna put working from home although that's not really what's happening <laughs> working from home. okay i'm gonna pin this I feel like whenever I do a live, someone always comes in like, what's going on in here? What are you talk talking about? Anyways, I ordered Starbucks for breakfast and I also have my vlogging camera just right here. So if you see me like looking that way, I'm talking to my vlog camera. Morning guys, today is Friday. It's about 10.35 a.m. right now. It's been a couple hours since I've been up. Um, I actually decided to wash my wig. <laughs> Um, I am going to a BravoCon event tomorrow with Tresemme. Um, you guys probably won't see that in this vlog because I want to do a separate vlog because it's going to be like a weekend, fun weekend. So I'm going to do like a weekend vlog. But yeah, we're going to BravoCon tomorrow and I am supposed to get my hair styled. Um, so I did wash my hair so it's nice and clean. I did put a little bit of product in it though. I wanted to try out the Verb Extra Hydration Glossy Shine Heat Protectant shine spray that i got from the amazon event yesterday i'm just gonna clip up my hair using my bts clips the front pieces because i do like when that is styled a certain way i'm gonna just pin this up and we're gonna start with blow drying the back i'm not gonna separate my hair too too much because i don't really should i Okay, before I blow dry the rest of my hair, quick review because this thing is insane. One, it's actually really amazing how silky it gets your hair. Like, it gets extremely hot. Like the this area, the plate, like the gold plate underneath the bristles, extremely hot. Like it's almost like touching a curling iron. So it's very, very hot. So you want to be careful. Um, this part does not get hot at, at all, but these areas get super, super hot. And um, yeah, I really, really like the result of it. Um, this is the other side and the hair is like, I wouldn't say like 60% wet, so it's not that dry. But I'm gonna do the rest of my head and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I do the front pieces to frame my layers, to frame my face because I did cut layers. So yeah, let me just finish up the rest of my hair. camera just got delivered i was vlogging on my m50 these past few weeks um 
I've been vlogging. I've been vlogging on my M50 these past few weeks, which is why I wasn't really vlogging outside as much or really bringing you guys anywhere because this camera is actually impossible. It's so heavy, one, and it just doesn't fit in any of my purses. And it was just an inconvenience to vlog outside and bring it around. So now that my tiny G7X camera is back, the vlogs will be a lot better. Um, it's just that with this camera, I have to always have it on a tripod. And the beauty of a vlog is the, you know, the fact that you can just grab your camera and I can walk around with you guys and I can bring you from room to room. You know what I mean? And with this big old every camera, you cannot do that. It's not, it's not practical to do that. So it was just not working out. But yeah, I'm gonna get myself something to eat right now. The entire morning I've been eating candy, specifically these um, trolley sour bite. I've been eating these the entire morning because you know, just that time of the month is approaching and I just have the biggest sweet tooth. I just try not to read the back because I don't even know what I'm eating. I, I just can't know at this point because <laughs> it's already gone on long enough. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. So I woke up about an hour and a half ago. Um, I don't know why it's just been taking me so long to get out of bed, I'm so tired but for no reason i literally stayed home the entire day yesterday because i really wanted to edit and as the cleaning crew would, um, were here i literally i stayed in the apartment also um so i just edited and stuff you guys and today i have the longest day ever um we have to okay let me just tell you guys what i'm doing so Tresemme, um, you guys know I worked with them during New York Fashion Week and they worked with me again for like another ad and then they booked me again for this event. It's BravoCon and I was like, BravoCon? I'm such a Bravo fan. I probably watch every show on Bravo um, with the exception of maybe like three. But I love Bravo and I watch all the Housewives, Marriage of Medicine, you guys know, I love that. So the fact that I'm going to BravoCon today, I'm gonna like possibly see my favorite like Bravo celebs and I'm excited. And um, I was allowed to bring a plus one. So you know I'm bringing Renee. Also because Tresemme invited me, they're gonna hook us up with like hairstyling. I wear a wig so I'm not really like gonna do anything crazy with my hair. Prob Probably just probably will just have Connie like put some like really nice waves in it and Renee's gonna get her hair styled as well So it's gonna be super cool outfits. Don't even ask me girl. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I Was seen um, so BravoCon is three days. It's Friday Saturday and Sunday um, We're going today on Saturday on Saturday, but I was able to see footage from Basically what BravoCon is like and it just seems to be like a really big Bravo convention, which is in to name BravoCon. Um, so, and I'm not a Bravo celeb, so I'm not really thinking that I need to go there looking red carpet ready or anything. Um, but I do want to look good and I do want to be comfortable. So whatever look I come up with, I feel like a sneaker is involved. Um, the only thing is though, I was also invited to attend the after party and if for, and for the after party I do want to look a little bit nicer So I think I'm just gonna pack an extra outfit or a pair of shoes just to switch out but for the convention Sneakers anyways, let me get up and get ready. It's 9 27 right now um, I did tell Renee to be here by like 11 30 so we can head into the city by like 12 30 um, I told her 11.30, but in theory, if she got here at 12, that would be okay. But Renee is, like, always running late, so I always, like, give her, like, 30 minutes behind. So I'm gonna, she's probably gonna pull up at, like, 11.50, <laughs> but I told her 11.30. Um, so, yeah, what was I saying? Okay, I'm gonna get up and get myself sorted and get ready.
All right, guys, I'm all dressed and ready for BravoCon. I'm so excited. I'm trying to show you guys my outfit, but it's literally looking slow right now. But this is my outfit of the day. My hair is gonna get styled by Trust Me, as I said prior, so um, don't watch the hair. Don't focus on that, focus on the outfit. So I'm wearing this top from Zara that I got ages ago and i'm wearing my skims like shaper so i'm literally snatched right now but i'm literally wearing this but this is the top and i'm also wearing my new favorite skims like strapless bra it's amazing so this is what that looks like and i'm wearing these trousers from aritzia it's literally the white trousers that i always wear so i'm gonna be wearing sneakers just white sneakers and I figured my bag matched my blazer. It's not really looking like it matches on camera, but it does match in person. On camera, the, the blazer is looking way more brown, but it's actually, it's actually like a green. It's actually literally the same green as this bag. Literally the same green, but it's showing up so different, which is why I do not like this blazer at all. It just always looks different on camera than in real life. That was actually the ladies from the Tresemme team texting me. We're gonna be so late, so, so late. But I'm gonna bring the Paulette bag for Ree. I'm also gonna bring this silver pouch for her. And I'm gonna bring this shoulder option in case she would prefer it. Um, turn off the light, cause we pay bills now. These are the purses I'm gonna bring for her. I'm packing my rooted treasure tote. <laughs> Because this bag's literally the bag of my dreams. It fits every single thing I need. Let's find my iPhone. Let's see where Ree is. She is very close to me. So I'm going to head down so when she gets here, she, I don't even have to wait. All right, guys. We just made it to New York. Hey. BravoCon. I'm sorry that we didn't get a chance to show you any Bravo celebs. I know. Number one, their the interaction is very, very quick. Yeah. Very, very quick. It's so crowded in there. Like, guys. <laughs> and guys, the screaming. I feel like we were at a bachelorette party with a thousand bajillion. Woo! 
<laughs> like all the time, like every five seconds. No, and I'm not kidding. Like you look to the right, and the person louding, the screaming the loudest, looks like your second grade English teacher. <laughs> But it was such a vibe, honestly. I had so much fun. Yeah, it was. It was actually like a very. I feel like we were getting we were at the stress my styling booth because obviously we're here to work. But well, I am. But I had to like do my work stuff, and then once my work stuff was over and it was time for fun, like we had to do Renee's hair. And then that lasted like a, I don't know, like an hour or so. Yeah. And then after that. Dorit, um, conveniently had, I think she had some kind of like thing planned with Tresemme also, so she yeah. came into the booth. So I was able to like snag a selfie or two with her, yes, that which was I fun. will include for us. But she's so sweet. Literally, just not a lot of time to do anything. Yeah. And, um, we did see like, you know, like Sonia and Marlo and Phaedra. You saw Sonia's mom. Yeah. You saw Phaedra walking in. And Marlo too. Marlo, we, yeah. The, the lines, guys. It's like. Because I literally would have died for a picture with them. I saw Lisa on I stage. I feel like if I were to like, if I would have had, if I would have like bought my ticket to come here, I would have tried harder to stay in line. Because That's I'm true. not gonna like waste my money, but of because course. also like I didn't pay for it, I was like, you know what, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. And really the night is not over. Oh yeah, we're also gonna go to the after party with um, the. We're gonna go to the after party, so we have our outfits in the car to change into, and um, yeah, it's gonna be a night, really fun day. Tape and Ray in the city. Oh, make sure you're in frame. Tiri. You know I love Ray. <laughs> she loves those names. Tiri. But they don't know that. Happen. But they don't know like that's my. Um, you know what I mean? They don't know like that's my nickname. Like they don't know that people call me T in real. Well, I like mean, family members I only. I call her Tavy, but a lot of other family members call her T. Yeah, you call me. I feel like you and like two other people people call me Tavy, and then. Tavy, and then Tave, so Tave, Tavy, and then T. Yeah. Like they just forgot about the old guys. Re, honestly, Re is more of like our thing, where it's like, yeah. else me run or run run. Happy Sunday guys. It is a filming day for me today and I also have to edit you guys so I can close out, so I can post today. Um, day after BravoCon, BravoCon was amazing. Even though we didn't really do a lot of BravoCon-esque things, we spent so much time getting our hair styled. Um, Renee's hair alone took maybe an hour and we already had gotten there at like two o'clock. Bravo Con ended at six, and um, it was just a very. We spent more time getting styled than we did Bravo Con things, but the little that we did do was very, very, very well worth it. Sorry, I was just trying to put you guys on my tripod right now because I'm getting ready to film a fall haul. I've been getting so many cute things for fall some colors, some like really great neutrals and lots and lots of shoes. You can't even see them, but they're on the floor. But I just wanted to come on here really quickly and just close this vlog out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to have more uploads for you guys during the week. But yeah, I'm gonna get started on filming my fall haul right now. And then I'm gonna literally glue myself to that couch and get this weekly vlog up for you guys today. Um, it's 11.04 a.m. right now. I should be done filming my haul by one o'clock the latest and should be able to 
have this vlog up for you guys by 6 or 7 p.m. That's my goal. But for right now, that's all I have for you. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, my baby G7X camera is back in my hands. Um, I was vlogging with my big camera, the M50, which was just way too heavy for me to be, you know, mobile with. So I'm happy that my smaller cam camera is back. So we'll be back to regular programming, regular style weekly vlogs in no time. And thanks for your patience um, as we were homebound for a little bit. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed again. And thank you so much for the support. As always, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you next week. Bye.